pre-op. I'm so excited. This is my pre-op before my surgery. I'm so excited. Now I'm about to change into my robe. She's mad because she's supposed to get seen earlier, I guess, but they're busy. So she's over there yelling. Period. She said, come look at these titties, period. Hey guys, um, oh my god. So I'm about to do my COVID test. Let's see her over there. They're doing it through the cars and it's the throat swab. So yeah. I'm pretty happy about that because I, I don't want to shove anything up my nose. So now I'm just waiting. She said there's a couple people in front of me. So she's just basically showing them how to do it and all that good stuff. But it's the 12th. My surgery's in three days. I'm so excited. <laughs> and yeah. Alright. I'll see you when I'm doing my little test or whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was here before this old man next to me, but I don't know. Okay, she apologized. <laughs> it's okay. As long as she apologizes, I'm good. Good, okay, perfect. All right, my dear, I'll have you say your first and last name. I'll show you that that's your test too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you some hand sanitizer. You can do the swab on yourself. Use your cotton swab, it goes in about an inch and a half, just past the cotton, not very far. Five big swabs on one side, five on the next, and hand it back to me. Okay. Thank you, so perfect. Okay. So we'll give you a call on Monday Okay. Thanks for driving over. Thank you. Oh my god. They lied to me. They told me it was the freaking throat swab. I'm gonna write a letter when I wasn't that bad. Um but yeah, and now I just waiting on my surgery date. So see you then. So they told me to wear, oh my god, I look like a little boy. They told me to wear a button-up. I don't have a button-up, so I just wore a sweater. I didn't put a bra on. I don't care. I didn't put a bra on. So, yeah. So, my friend's outside. She's super, she's fast. We got here quick, but, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna go now. Bye! <laughs> You don't realize the guy beside you just let out a big ass fart. It was so loud. So we just checked in and I had to uh, weigh myself. I gotta drop some pounds. <laughs> but yeah, I had to weigh myself. Checked in now. I'm waiting for the nurse to come get me. Yeah, Corvette, Corvette. I 
All right, I'm gonna change and I'll be right back. This that trip check. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Me up. They told me to watch TV. Give me a warm blanket. This is the last one. So, nurse just came in. She's basically just asking me basic questions. Oh, I'm so sleepy. It's supposed to be a good ass nap. <sighs> but, yeah. Just going over the same information I went over like a bajillion times. You know, the usual. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, she said she's gonna get me an IV started. And yeah, I'm excited. So they just put in my IV. And it's not like on them, but they just put it in. And they're gonna give me a nausea patch. So I'm not nauseous after surgery. So yeah, now I'm just waiting. It's getting very close to the time. This is a nausea patch, I guess. An anti-nausea patch. Period. Because we're not nauseous around here. I'm so sleepy. I'm about to take this mean ass nap. I'll probably wake up really grouchy and hungry. <sighs> Put your mask on. Put your mask on, All right? Oh yeah. So far, it's been going smooth. So I'll see you guys right before I go to surgery. Maybe in there. Yeah. Stay there. The only thing I've been thinking about is what I'm gonna eat when I get out of here. I'm so hungry. Oh my god. All right, I'm going in. I'm all hooked up. Hey guys, I just got out of surgery. Well, I've been out of surgery, but now I'm about to go home. I'm surprised I'm walking around, but it wasn't bad. I can't believe look at my boobs. They're small. It's insane. They're not bulging out. They don't feel heavy. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys in the car. Thank you. I did it, bitches. Fuck you, big titty bitch. <laughs> what bitch? Oh my god. Do you see that fucking difference? That's insane. I looked down. I was like, oh my god. That's insane. Did they intubate you? Two fucking pounds each. That's said, insane. She said one of them was two pounds, and the other one, I don't remember which one. I think he may have something left. Was just barely under two pounds. Jesus Christ, I was a big titty bitch. That's a lot of fucking weight. <laughs> I dropped four pounds, pussy assholes. <laughs> Period. I'm so excited though to see the healing. I looked down, I was like, whoa. Now to eat. I'm so fucking say, hungry. hungry. <laughs> but you're hungry okay. as fuck. These motherfuckers starved me and cut my titties off. Oh, I'm gonna start with. You want Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah. And that. Is I've vlogged the whole entire time. Really? I got so much did minus you, me under the knife, but did you um did they say that they were gonna intubate you? My mouth is dry as shit. Like I took melatonin. But I think it went great. It was everything went smooth. The doctor was so nice. He saved my birthmark too. I have a birthmark on the side of my boob. Me and my sperm donor match. I just this is the only connection we have at this point. <laughs> oh, it was like your but yeah, this is a great experience. I know some people are scared to go to like the medical, the Navy doctors, but he was dope as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was my surgery. Uh, I hope this helps anybody that's scared. Don't be scared. Just go do it. It's lit. Shut Time to up. fucking eat. I'm hungry. Shut you should have saved me some of your titties, bitch. <laughs> Shut up to Jaeger. <laughs> she saved the day because. <sighs> yeah. All right.
right, bye. I hope you guys enjoy this. Subscribe. I'm gonna go home and take drugs and go to sleep. Peace.